she has arrived, darling. Just last year, RuPaul significantly upgraded his living situation. Drag superstar moved into a $13.7 million Beverly Hills mansion that's just as fabulous as he is, which is where he currently lives. We'll take a look at his eye-popping and glamorous residence and give you all the details, as well as his former bungalow and sunset strip, which he decked out in unique design too. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. RuPaul Andre Charles is an international drag queen superstar, model, singer, actor, TV personality, and more, who's produced and hosted the reality competition series RuPaul's Drag Race since 2009. And let me tell you, the show is a success. He's received eight primetime Emmy Awards for this, and RuPaul is also considered the most successful drag queen in all of America. After moving around a bit, RuPaul settled in New York City, where he became a popular fixture in the nightclub scene, and achieved fame as a drag queen with the release of his single Supermodel You Better Work in 1993. He became the first drag queen to land a major cosmetics campaign when he worked with MAC Cosmetics a year later, and also scored his own talk show on VH1 the same year. He's worked a lot over his long spanning career with more success as a recording artist, releasing 14 albums to date, appearing in films, and publishing books. Additionally, RuPaul's Drag Race has produced 12 seasons to date and has inspired several spin off series. RuPaul's indifferent to gender specific pronouns about him and is said, You can call me he, you can call me she, you can call me Regis and Kathy Lee, I don't care, just as long as you call me. These days, the international drag queen is kicking back in a lavish mansion in Beverly Hills with his spouse George Labar. All of his success considered, his current estimated net worth is about 60 million, meaning he truly is living like a queen. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up, but we're the original house tour connoisseurs and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. You guys requested this one, so today we'll be looking at two beautiful properties that international superstar RuPaul has called home over the years. We've also done house tours on the likes of Tony Braxton and Joe Rogan and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Last year, it was reported that RuPaul was selling his home above the Sunset Strip for $4.9 million, which he acquired about eight years prior for $2.5 million. The bungalow was described as a developer's dream in listing materials, and the home measured in at just under 2,400 square feet. Despite the modest size, the three-bed, 2.5 bath abode offered panoramic canyon and city views that LA real estate dreams are made of. RuPaul's flamboyant sense of style is something praised by many, so it's no surprise that where the superstar was living was also designed like that. A vermilion colored garage door makes the exterior look bold, and there's also security thanks to an iron fence and hedges. The double front doors are painted the same color as the garage and open to the entry hall. Here the color scheme is blood red and there's a portrait of Dolly Parton to greet you as well. In fact, throughout the home, RuPaul's love for divas is fiercely on display, as giant portraits of Barbara Streisand and Diana Ross grace the walls too. A light filled and red walled living room is spacious enough to offer two separate seating areas, and there are also also glass sliders to the outdoor space. Sofas here are upholstered in bright orange, yet another bold choice, and another area has an oversized fireplace surrounded by sparkly jet black tiles. RuPaul's former dining room had a glitzy brass and glass table that could sit at least eight guests, and nearby the monochrome kitchen had black appliances and dark steel gray cabinets and counters. The only pop of color here seems to be the 1960s style orange glass chandelier over the center island. Another den in the home has a crimson sofa with animal print cushions, all on top of wall to wall giraffe print carpet. The master suite RuPaul used to occupy was furnished more simply with wall to wall built in bookshelves and a deluxe attached bath. While the bathroom was a bit dated, it had a jetted tub, separate shower, and two old school sculptural sinks. Floor to ceiling glass sliders from the master suite allow you to overlook the glittery city lights and lead you to the yard. Outside, there was a small dark bottom stone swimming pool and spot with a two level concrete terrace. In an interview with Architectural Digest, RuPaul previously explained why he made his bold design choices, saying, In my Los Angeles house, there's lots and lots and lots of lights, so I wanted to decorate it like a hotel I loved in Hollywood. 
Holland Park in London called Halcyon. I've got red reds and oranges and beautiful pattern wallpapers that are purple and orange and zebra print in one of the rooms. I have this giraffe print carpet on the floor and the paint on the wall is orange, just really bright orange, which is my favorite color. Well now, it all makes sense. The same year that RuPaul listed the LA home we just looked at, he made quite the jaw-dropping upgrade. The drag superstar shelled out a whopping $13.7 million on his current home, a much larger estate in Beverly Hills, located in a premier street in the lower Coldwater Canyon area. RuPaul's ornately embellished mansion measures in at more than 10,300 square feet of space, spread over three levels, and six baths, five full baths, and three half baths. This neoclassical chateau sits on about half an acre of hillside land and the exterior offers a gate, showy front steps to the front door, and stately columns. Inside, it's just as appropriately glamorous as RuPaul himself, with elaborate moldings, fireplaces, and French parquet floors. The double height foyer has black and white marble flooring and about the grandest staircase and chandelier that I've ever seen. Nearby black Corinthian columns line a doorway leading to some of the common rooms. The formal living and dining areas are almost warehouse size, with room to entertain a whole herd of guests and offer wood floors, fireplaces, and huge arched windows. A paneled family room with yet another fireplace and wet bar is slightly more casual, and the kitchen has your usual designer appliances. Here, there's also a separate breakfast room wrapped in French doors. The Regal European home was completed in 1991 and has been equipped with all the modern upgrades since. Of course, most of the palatial interiors also have soaring ceilings, especially on the first floor. The service wing in RuPaul's home includes a staff bedroom, which could also double as a home office, while three ensuite guest bedrooms share the upper floor with the master bedroom. And RuPaul and his hubby can share quite the master retreat here, with a fireplace, sitting area, and outdoor terrace. There are also all the add-ons one comes to expect from a 90210 mega mansion, including a wine cellar, home gym, and media room. Moving outside, there's a deep stone paved and covered veranda with outdoor fireplace and a wall-mounted TV. This leads to the private terrace backyard with heated Regency-style pool, spa, and even a gazebo. I think that both the lush gardens outside and the fancy interiors are fabulous and perfectly suited for a queen like RuPaul, and I can see why he made the upgrade to this mega mansion. Alright, I think I'll bring the house tour to an end here. We've taken a look at where drag superstar and TV personality RuPaul Charles calls home with his husband George Labar, and I think after seeing the two properties they lived at, I have a definite favorite. Aside from the beautiful and stately mansion the two have been living in since last year, George maintains a remote ranch in Wyoming while RuPaul keeps a two-bed and two-bath condo in a building just below the Sunset Strip in West Hollywood. Not to mention, RuPaul's also on the same 1,200-square-foot condo in a stately building along a cobblestone paved street in Manhattan's West Village since 1995, which cost him only 350 k back then. Talk about investment. It's likely worth several million these days. Like I said, I have a favorite out of RuPaul's homes, and it's definitely the current mega mansion. I mean, it just screams glamour. How about you guys? Go ahead and pick your fave in the comments down below. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subs on my personal channel, so I'd love it if you guys like and subscribe. If you leave me a comment, we can totally chat and we'll link you my latest video. If you watch Michael's videos and before they were famous, and we were talking about this with his family the other day, how you're so animated, he's so like loud and like boom. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity houses you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.